Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, we have a perfect legend day using Blizzard Lalo, from a special guest from Bushido Esports. And that player is none other than the French superstar Amaterasu. This guy, absolute monster of Lalo. So he's bringing this Blizzard Lalo today, but he's very versatile, can do Sui, can do Queen Charge. You tell him what you want, he'll do it. But he's choosing Blizzard Lolly for his Legends League push this season. And I'm going to be documenting some uh, Legends League uh, days from quite a lot of the Bushido Esports players over the coming weeks. So in case you didn't know, I have partnered up with them. I am their official content creator. So it's an absolute honor for me to get to work with them. They are um, unbelievable. Uh, they were a predominantly French team, but they've gone international now, so I guess this is where I fit into it. I don't speak any French, but, uh, you know, English, it's the language of love or something like that. Uh, anyway, you saw the Blizzard value there. He ripped the core apart. This is a classic box base, and that was insane value. Insane. I'm not even overdoing it when I say that. So he's got his queen moving into the town hall. King and RC working together moving through that defending queen and clearing out the rest of the four or five o'clock side we've got our attacking queen still trying to get to the town hall she has her ability in hand okay it's looking good it's looking good the queen is under no pressure right now she will get through the town hall king is no he wasn't he moved away from the single inferno op king he's gonna move in take out the air defense queen gets the town hall and now we get the lalo starting lalo comes in from 7 38 o'clock and it's going to wrap its way around the base. You can see a massive deployment right off the bat. He wants that multi-inferno down early. And rightly so. Rightly so. Multi-inferno, scatter shots. Probably the two worst... Uh, and the Eagle Artillery, of course. The three worst enemies of Alalo, if you exclude the uh, Town Hall. Beautiful. Really nice tome. And you'll see he's going with the Lava Hound. I do prefer the Ice Hound. It requires a slightly lower amount of skill. But... Amaterasu, like I said, guys, he's a monster of Lalo. He doesn't need any helping hands. He is crushing this base. Look at how many balloons he's got left. Let's focus in on him. Count those balloons, guys. Count them. How many? One, two, three. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot. Loads of balloons left. Single Inferno. Ooh, interception by the NATO. Okay, we haven't got that many balloons left now. But freezes up the single. He was going to swag it, I think. But uh, you know what? This is why we hold on to the occasional spell until the end. Just for that sort of situation. And he gets the single down. He's got plenty of cleanup over on the top side. And that is going to be a beautiful three-star from Amaterasu. With time to spare against Leo. And we're in with attack number two. And would you know it, guys? It's another box base. This is like Amaterasu's bread and butter. So you can see he moves around clans, by the way, in this legend day. So um, the Bushido family, it's quite a large one. Exotic Dart, it's got Crazy Hunters, which I know they do friendly wars out of. And of course, Bushido Esports as well, which is their main clan. Um, keep an eye out for them in the uh, 2022 season of Clash of Clans Esports. I think we're going to be seeing a lot from them. But beautiful Blizzard here, taking out the initial entry. That means that the RC goes down. The eagle's going to go down, I think, is it? Is he going to get as far as the eagle? No. No, he does not. Rip. But he does get enough. So he takes out a chunk of six and seven o'clock. He was baited slightly. I think actually he wanted to get his blimp a little bit deeper into the base. I could be wrong, but I think he was going for a little bit more depth on it. Having said that, not a big deal. So the queen's practically dead. One shot from the attacking queen will take her down. Or not, because she's not going to go that way. Can the baby dragon finish her? Yes, she can. She can. Baby dragon is a lady, by the way. Don't know if you knew that. I didn't. I just made it up. But let's pretend. Let's pretend. So we've got the RC coming in from 3 o'clock. King and queen working together. Beautiful synergy between those two. You've got the king acting as a... Well, he has got the golem skin on, so a big tank. We've got the queen, who's taking those long-range shots. Heavy hitter taking out everything on the four o'clock side we've got the lolo starting directly over the town hall that is a brave play from amaterasu not super brave actually he does have hay spells so it's not like he's gonna have those balloons hanging around in the poison for a long time but you know what it, it takes a brave man to lolo straight over the town hall so fair play to the guy balloons do escape that poison we've got a ton of them left over we've got two freezes two haste oh my god he is 
got an embarrassment of riches when it comes to spells remaining. Scattershot goes down. What can I say, guys? What can I say? This base is absolutely wrecked. He's got a freezing of, point, a freezing of haste left over, sorry. And given how this started with a semi semi failed blizzard i say semi because it wasn't a complete fail we got some value but it was nowhere near what you wanted considering that the the skill that he's shown here to wreck gordy's base absolutely unreal there's not many players with this kind of lalo talents and uh yeah this is why i was so excited when amaterasu messaged me and said hey bv i've got a legends day that you might want to check out for your channel that definitely got me going. So beautiful work, Amaterasu. Love it, man. And we're into attack number three, and we're going in on Super from Saigon. I love. Where's the blizzard here? All right, love it. Is he going to go for the eagle here? Dropping that blizzard straight on the eagle would be... Ooh, no. Okay, slightly off center. He's going to go for the scatter shot. Right, one thing I'll point out here. Let me focus in. Notice he drops the blimp to land in the dead space where there could be bombs. And the reason he does that, the reason he does it is because he has some troops coming out before the super wizards. Now those super wizards, if they landed straight on a giant bomb, they're gone. If the blimp were to land a little bit lower where you can see you've got the lower super wizards now and they walk into that empty space and there was a giant bomb there, those super wizards would go down. But because he landed it on the dead space, the initial troops, whether they be five barbs, five archers, they're going to trigger the giant bomb before the super wizards even leave the CC. So really intelligent play. It came to nothing because there was nothing there. But you know what? I love the caution that he, he plays with here. He's not a, a brash player. He doesn't take risks. Everything is calculated from this guy. And that's what leads to perfect legend days. That's how you get perfect legend days. You don't get them from taking multiple risks. Or if you do, you're lucky. This guy does it with skill. And that's, again, why I was so excited to uh, get to witness these attacks and create a video from them. Baby Dragon's working up from 2 o'clock and it's going to get some nice value. The Queen's working away down towards the Town Hall. At the very least, she'll get a Queen Town Hall takedown. Ice Golem gets dropped in perfection on the timing there. Just as the Queen's about to step into range, Ice Golem goes in, freezes up that Queen. The King gets dropped in as well. Freeze on the single Inferno. And the king gets through. Oh my lord, this is looking good, guys. This is looking extremely good. So I'm just going to point this out right now. Once that town hall's gone down, and assuming that we've got a little bit on the left side still standing in that compartment, the pathing that we've got here, it's textbook. It's exactly what you'd need. We've got no scatter shots to worry about. We've got one multi-inferno. One. That's it. One. I mean, granted, multis, they're not the friend of Alalo. But at the same time, you can get through one of them without worrying too much, especially given that he still has a freeze and two haste left over. So that early eternal tome is going to keep as many balloons as possible. Going through the early goings here, we've got the hound. It's going to survive. It does survive through the air defense. That hound's going to stay up and tang. Now, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference against the multi inferno, but it does mean that it distracts, uh, distracts at least one of the beams. Hound pops, we get the hasted balloons into the multi, multi goes down, we're picking up some red air bombs, so we are going to inevitably lose some balloons here, but oh my lord, how many are left here? That is ridiculous. So this one did go right to the wire, so this one did go the maximum three minutes, but when it's as overwhelmingly dominant as this one, you can kind of forgive that. I swear he's got more loons right now than he started with. I swear he has, that is ridiculous. So Amaterasu... I bow down to you, my friend. Well played. Well played. And his next victim in attack number four it is Old Cousin. Okay, so we've got another box base here. Slightly reversed. So the other box bases, if I remember correctly, we had the Town Hall on the two o'clock side. I'm getting old, guys. I might not be remembering correctly, but I think I am. So Blimp, it's going to go over. Where's it going to land? Between the Eagle and the Scatter, the precision on these drops. I can't get around. I don't know how he does it. Perfect, perfect placement. Lands just where he needed it to. Now, it's kind of difficult on the fly to pick your blimp starting location. Because you've got to remember, guys, when you're doing a blizzard or a skelly donut or anything like that that requires a 
degree of precision in a legend hit, you get a maximum 30 seconds to prepare. That's all. So you can't go and get your ruler or anything out and draw out a line of where you want to start that blimp off. It's done by feel and experience and he absolutely nailed it. Ripped that core to shreds. The king is moving in, taking out the two o'clock side as we saw before, the RC in at three o'clock. And she's got a lot of juice in the tank still. Queen, again, same, fo uh, same formula as we've seen before. Queen's working towards that town hall. Freezes the arch tower and cannon. So you could see the queen was struggling a little bit wants to keep that ability for the town hall takedown and understandably so absolutely understandable king locked on by the single he's gonna let that go he's letting it slide now anyone less experienced may have frozen the single in the hope that the king would have taken it down it would have been a risky play and as i mentioned before amaterasu doesn't take risks the air defense over on the top side right between two wizard towers so perfect tanking for both of them Balloons are working the way through from 12 o'clock. They're going to finish on a air defense and wizard tower at six. He does still have a free spell. He's got two spare balloons left over. He's got two haste. He's got his poison still, would you believe? He's looking pretty good right now. I mean, we know this is a perfect legend day, so we already know this. We know it's going to be a three star, but just how dominant this is looking right now blows my mind really does so he still has a haste and a freeze left over he's quite frugal with the uh, spell use here he's got the haste is he going to drop it in at all minions pick up a ton of red air bombs but rather the minions than the balloons at this point i'd say hasting in towards the wizard tower and air defense and that is a beautiful beautiful three star so we're not seeing much in the way of swag from amaterasu maybe the odd spell here and there so far but it, you know what? It doesn't matter. When you're walking away with a perfect day, the last thing anyone's going to be asking you is, yeah, but how much did you swag? Nobody cares, guys. You got plus 320. What difference does it make how much you swag? And yet another box base. So what, what's the play here? We're going to go the same as before. We're going to look to try and take out the closer side, near side of the eagle. Looks like it. So he is flying in. Where's he going to land this blimp? Where is it going to land? It was kind of forced into landing short of the eagle. Landed on a giant bomb as well, I believe. So I think we've taken some, yeah, we've taken some damage on those wizards. Is he going to get the eagle down? He's not. The super wizards have gone south. So the eagle's going to stand. Does get rid of the defending RC. King is being worked on. And the king, does he go down? He does go down. King goes down. Beautiful. Very partial CC pull, and when I say very partial, I'm talking two archers. So that tells me that we've probably got mm, maybe a Hound Headhunter CC. That's probably the common one that we could expect here. So he's got the poison to deal with it, no big deal. He's got the Ice Golem in, the Queen's down at six, working up towards the three o'clock side. King in with the Ice Golem, Ice Golem pops, and that freezes up those cannons. So we've got a little bit of protection for the King and Queen. Okay, so far this is looking all right. So far looking all right. The only difference here that I'm noticing, previously when we've seen him attacking box bases, he's been uh, suing the town hall with the queen. This time he's chosen not to do that. Is he gonna go for that town hall takedown with the Lalo again? We have seen him do that once and it worked beautifully. The only problem here and something I'm seeing as a bit of a risk is that he's got that core multi, he's got the eagle in there. There's a lot going on. And it'll take a phenomenal Lalo to get him through the rest of this base. Or will it? The Queen Sui, my god, that Queen is surviving. She is a fighter. Multi goes down. Eagle nearly bit the dust as well. Can the Queen finish it off? She's going to try and take out the Clan Castle first. Yes, yeah, she does. Town Hall not yet active. We've got balloons floating over the top of it. Town Hall now active. Freezes it up. We've got some balloons doubling back on it. RC working with the Lalo. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He's going to haste those balloons out of the town hall, is he? No. No. Amaterasu. Hey, haste them. Haste them. Okay, so he just let them flow. I, I feel he should have used the haste there. I don't know why he didn't. I don't know why he didn't. Slight misplay from this guy, which is very rare. He still has a ton of balloons left over. So, I mean, in fairness, maybe this was calculated. I, I don't know. But um, yeah, he could have easily hasted those balloons out of the town hall and had them come through on full health rather than, well, you can see here I'm pressing on them. They're all on very low health. A red air bomb would have taken out probably, I don't know, 10 balloons there maybe. It doesn't matter though because of the value that he got from the Sui. 
because of what he got from the blizzard and because of his bravery in lolloing over the town hall, walks away with yet another convincing triple, this time on Ravienna Wati. So a bit of a weird looking base, but I'm still calling this one a box base. It's still got the basic elements of a box. I mean, granted, you've got different compartments that are larger than you'd see in normal ones and some that are smaller, but it's still the same basis. So that hound was actually ridiculous. So the Coco hound he sent in was, I think, to try and pick up a NATO on the way to the town hall. But what it did do, it picked up, I don't know, probably all of the red air bombs in the entire base. Blizzard had one goal in mind, or two, take out the town hall, uh, town hall, pull the CC, and then inevitably deal with the CC as well, of course. So the Hound does pop. Hound, okay, we get rid of most of the pups, or not most of them, some of them. Pulling the rest of the pups over with the Archer. Queen's going to pick them off. He's got the Unicorn with that Queen, so any damage that she takes, it'll be reversed quite quickly by the Unicorn, which gives a slightly better effect than one healer would. King and Queen with the Ice Golem suing in over 8 o'clock. They're going to take out the Defending Queen. And he's got potential here. No guarantees, but the King may choose to bust through the wall towards the Expo. Nope, Super Warbreaker goes in. He's going to guide the King and Queen around to the 6 o'clock compartment instead. Is this Queen going to do the smart thing and take out the air defense? Will she step forward? I think she might. Is she... Co if she do okay, that's brilliant. That is just pure brilliance from the queen she can take out the bomb tower and then she can reach the lower air defense from her position so this is two air defenses taken out by the queen she moves out of range of the single inferno as well and now starts bashing on a wall we've got the lolo moving in so one thing you'll see here is that uh, amaterasu he doesn't wait for the sui to complete before deploying the lolo so he's trying to keep this fluid trying to keep it all flowing and he's doing a fantastic job of it, I must say. So the Lolo taking out the single Inferno in the core. The balloons did take some heavy hits from the Eagle, but a beautifully placed freeze spell stops the Eagle in its tracks. Now this is the closest I think we've come to not tripling here. But we know how this is going to play out, guys. He's got a haste and a freeze left over. The haste doesn't have much value to it, but the freeze spell and that RC ability definitely have great potential for us. RC ability goes off, Tesla goes down, He's got no headhunters left, but that freeze on the king. One shot on the king should do it. Great. Well done. Haste over the RC. And, uh, you know, kind of value, kind of. It means the RC zipping across towards the cannon a fraction of a second quicker. Now, it wasn't that close. The RC's health, like 50%. She wasn't going down anyway. But, you know, well, it, it, he had to use the haste somewhere. And that was as good a place as any. And there we have it. Another triple. This time on someone who, whose name I can't read. But beautiful work from Amaterasu. Came close towards the end, but he still clutched it up by playing it cool. Holding on to that haste and the freeze. And doing just what had to be done to walk away with that three star. And now we move on with attack number seven. This one's on Loe Gamer. And this is a really common legend base. We've all seen it. We've all probably failed on it. I already have an idea of what I think he's going to do here. Because you can actually really make some, some quality pathing on this base for a Lolo. I'm just going to see if what he's going to do matches up with what I'm thinking. Okay, so Blizzard's going to be looking to take out the Town Hall. Is it going to get there though? Ooh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Precision Invis placement, though, does allow him to immediately target a, te a Tesla, an Expo. We've got the Invis is dropped in. The Wizard's taken out a Scatter. They're actually getting good value here. Maybe this is actually what he intended in the first place. He's got the Hound Pull. He's not going to get the Town Hall down, but I don't think he's actually too worried about that. He's got his Sui that can work on the Town Hall. He's got his uh, Balloons. We've seen him wallow the Town Hall many times, and he always gets it done. But now he's going to Sui that Queen into the Town Hall. Ice Golem tanking. Not tanking against too much, admittedly, but uh, you know what? Any damage that we can keep off the Queen has got to be a good thing. Ice Girl on Pops, that reduces the damage on the Queen even more. She's going to step in towards the Town Hall. The King's moving in first, actually. Are we going to get a King ability fired off to protect the Queen? No, the King runs off. That actually worked out nice. The King moves away from the Town Hall into that defending RC, takes her down easily. 
the queen she needs to get out of that town hall poison she stood right in it with the unicorn if she can get out of that poison where you going queen where, where you okay there you go she eventually does it sadly she's going to be on quite low health approaching that defending queen We'll get two, three shots. Oh, that queen's nearly gone. That queen is nearly gone. Lolo coming in from nine o'clock, working through the base. We've got freezes being used on the eagle. Notice that he sent the RC in with headhunters to deal with that king and then push through and take out that core eagle. We've got a ton of balloons working through in unison, uh, unison down at six. They're moving in towards the multi at 4.30. Haste goes down. He's got one haste left, no freezes. So this is all going to be done with haste spells. That's all he can use now. He's got one haste left. Does he even need to use it? I think he probably does. He's got two air defenses, a wizard tower and an arch tower to get through. That's a lot of DPS and that wizard tower, of course, dealing splash damage to this massive batch of balloons. So he hastes straight into the wizard tower. He identified that as the main threat standing and gets the job done. Amaterasu, you are godly, man. That was unreal. Beautiful, beautiful play. It didn't quite go right, I don't think, as far as the blizzard goes. I could be wrong, but I think he wanted a bit more value. But the Sui was perfect. The Lalo was excellent. No criticism. Beautifully done. And now we go into the final attack of the Legend Day. It's been a wild ride, guys. But here we go. Coming in with a final hit on Fuok. Yi. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm guessing it is. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm familiar with this clan. I believe I've hit people from uh, Anhung Viet before. But okay. Okay. Amaterasu, do your thing, my friend. So, Blizzard coming in from 1 o'clock. Is he trying to get as far as the Eagle? Surely it's trapped out. Surely the Sam's no. Okay. That was a good long range blimp. So, he's going to get the Eagle down, Wizard Tower, probably the air defense over at uh, 4 o'clock as well. Yeah, he is. Oh my lord. This is actually phenomenal. The core is gone. So the entire core getting wiped triggers the NATO as well, which, you know, you may think that's terrible happening to those wizards. It's going to reduce the damage delivered. True. It's true. But it does mean that we don't have a NATO to deal with for the Lalo. Okay, so we've got an archer pulling the CC over towards three o'clock. Queen dropped in. Are we going to freeze up that CC? No. Okay. Okay, he's playing it cool. Poison's going to get dropped in quite soon. There we go. And notice the placement of that poison directly on that queen. That means that all but maybe one of the pups, in fact, yeah, all but one of them gets captured inside the poison. And it's always the one that locks onto the unicorn that stays outside of it. So little tip from me, if you're in that position, always drop that poison directly on top of your queen. That way you'll get maximum value from it. All right. And that's only if you're doing with a hound, of course. If it's like super minions, don't do that. I mean, you know that already, but that would be crazy. So king and queen working through towards the town hall, taking out the defending queen. RC is suing up from three towards 12, and a lot of the value's gone from there. This is, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Now, personally, I would have actually gone with Alalo from the top side where the RC is, because I feel like the queen may have managed to get through the town hall. But I, I get it. He's playing it cautiously, making sure he doesn't blow it and finish this perfect day with a one star. And it's far from it, guys, because he is going to clutch up a triple here. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. It's just how this guy rolls. So he's still got three minions to drop in. Now you'll notice there's a lot of cleanup still to do without much to clean up. So the balloon's going to play quite a big part here in cleaning up the remaining structures. The queen is stuck inside the lower compartment and she's going to start to do what she does best once the skeletons are gone. There you go. She's shooting a wall because why not? Because why not? The balloons are going to work through the base, helping these minions, helping that little rogue headhunter out. We've got the lassie in there helping too and the owl. We've got two pets assisting with this cleanup effort. Queen eventually gets through the wall. She'll help to finish off the clan castle. And that is a GG well played to Amaterasu coming in with the perfect day in Legends League. And he's around about the 55, 5600 mark here, guys. So he's not low legends. And you can tell by the bases he's hitting. This is actually a really strong legend performance against some really competent legend bases.
And there we have it, a godly performance from my man Amaterasu, beautiful work, perfect Legend Day, and maybe one attack looked a little bit close, but the rest of them absolutely dominant, didn't look like failing at all. So uh, guys, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also, drop a comment to let me know if you've had any uh, luck getting a perfect day. Who knows, maybe you could be featured in a future video. And of course, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be made aware when I go live or when I post new videos in the future. I do one or the other pretty much every single day, so there's always fresh content on the channel. Until next time, much love, Big Veil is out.